As software engineers, we build products. Therefore, we should be thinking a lot about product and having a product mindset and thinking about how the users are going to use the product. To survive and thrive, you must adopt a product-driven mindset. Nax, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Matt. Thanks for asking. Really excited for this topic. So... I mean, we build products, right, Nax? I mean, like, we should care more about the product than probably the code? What do you think? It's about the product, especially on the desired outcomes that we really need to focus rather than the code running on the back. What do you mean? I'm really proud of my code. Like, it's really cool looking. Don't my users like my code? Users don't look at those code. They cannot see it. It's just on the, the background or behind. What they really see, it's thing that's really responded every actions they take. So, they, I mean, the users just care about actually doing their own job, right? And how the, tool, how the tool that you've built helps them do their job. They don't actually care anything about the tool itself. They just care about their own job. And I think that's the thing that most people don't really think about. They're like, I built this cool thing. Like, nobody actually cares. They care about what they're trying to accomplish with the cool thing. Um, and, you know, excited to talk more about that today. And I guess my first question for you, Nax, is like, when we say product thinking or a product mindset, what does that mean to you? Uh, that's a great question, Matt. So uh, product thinking uh, helps engineers align their technical work with the overall goal of the product. So when engineers understand the product vision and user needs, they can make better design decisions and prioritize features that really add value. What do you mean? I want to prioritize like all this cool stuff I found online about crazy architecture and solid principles and like layers of abstraction. Like that's what I'm excited about, Max. Like that's what I want to work on. Yeah, but as an engineer, having a product thinking mindset is really to focus on the end user experience, the market needs and the overall product goal. It's just thinking beyond just writing code and consider how the work impacts users and the business. So you're saying I should only make my code really cool and complicated if it's actually making a better product. Simplicity. <laughs> well, so, I mean, I think it, it seems like such a simple thing and a, and a common sense sort of thing, but a lot of software engineers don't really think this way, right? They, they don't think as much about the users and the product. And, and part of the reason is they're so separated from them. They don't, they don't get enough time to interact with them. And that's, that's part of the problem. And, and, you know, we've highlighted in some of our other videos, like ways to do that. But, you know, in generally speaking, what would you say is the biggest benefit to the developers to have this sort of product thinking? So uh, I believe one of the key benefits of having this uh, product mindset, it's, it would really improve their uh, decision making. Like, Rather than just uh, putting focus on a certain feature, it's about what this feature impacts the entire solution for the customer. So for instance, if an engineer understands that users prioritize speed over features, they may opt to optimize performance rather than add adding new functionalities. Well, I think the challenge is a lot of developers kind of sit around being waiting to be told what to do, right? Like, okay. Give me my Jira tickets and I'll work on my Jira tickets, which is part of the problem, right? We need developers to be more involved in the product planning, the requirements, so that they can over time have more ownership and in, in thinking about like, how should we build this and why are we doing it this way, right? So they, they can think more uh, that way. I'm curious if you have some tips about how we can get developers to think that way. So... I believe you, you mentioned that uh, attending product meetings or product meetings or product planning. So participating uh, in meetings with uh, product managers to grasp the product roadmap and strategic direction. So hearing this firsthand uh, by the engineers uh, would really help them align their work with their business goals and also learning from the stakeholders uh, like regularly communicating with uh, especially UX designers. So we have some teams have experience with this like a simple button of what this button do without the developers didn't check with the UX why this button design would look like this and it lead to it failed the acceptance criteria without checking. 
learning from the stakeholders, talking with UX designers, and attending product list meetings, which I really see that would help really uh, develop their product mindset. Well, and I think it can ultimately help the developers overcome a lot of challenges, right? So instead of them just looking at the requirements and following the requirements, currently, if they get stuck, they're like, I don't know. I don't really understand why these requirements are this way. I have to go ask someone else, right? Versus if they take more ownership in the product, they probably can figure those things out. Because if they were involved in the process from the beginning, and they have more of that ownership. They're thinking, they're, they're doing this product thinking. They're like, oh, I understand why this button's here. We talked about this. We talked about that. I understand why they're using the product. We've had all these discussions. Like, I understand. And, and I think that's probably one of the, the biggest things to, to, to think about here is ultimately that's what you're trying to improve is when the developers get stuck, potentially, they know how to unstick themselves because they understand why we're building what we're building and why we're doing this instead of just following directions, right? Like that, that is the mode that so many companies are in though. They're in this like follow the directions mode. So what do, what do you think are some actual, actionable items for people today for, you know, potentially engineers that are, that are watching this? Like, okay, how do, I, how do I start doing this? How do I start having this product thinking? So I think throughout uh, the past two days, I've read about articles about product thinking. Like one way, uh, one of the, a couple of actionable items for engineers is really listening to the voice of the customers or voice of the clients or simply engage with them. So participating in a user research discussion, competitive analysis, wherein they would be able to see how the clients compare their new solution versus the existing ones. So if they were able to see those in action, like competitive analysis, research versus what they're working, they would have they would be able to see the bigger picture. Second, it's like, uh, again, uh, joining product meetings. So before, I think we usually emphasize this, Matt, that the engineer is always thinking on the code. It's about delivery. They were not involved on the planning process. They should be joining the UX designers, the product managers or product owners uh, during those planning sessions. And uh, lastly, it's just um, staying informed, like, what is the shift of software engineers? Is it really software engineering or plus product engineering? Staying informed. Those were the three things that I could just say that would make them, would improve their product thinking mindset. Engage with the customers or clients, join product meetings, collaborate with teams. And we, as we continue this era of AI being more and more involved in software engineering, it becomes even more important, right, for software engineers to understand the product side of it, because AI is not necessarily going to replace that side of it or impact that side of it as much as it may impact more and more of the software development coding part of it. And it's so important as an engineer to level yourself up and upskill yourself to this product thinking and mindset, because in the future, that may be where most of the opportunities are. So we'll see how that plays out. So so far, it seems like mostly hype and not not as much reality. But it's it's important regardless for developers to to think at this higher level about the product, and ultimately it, it helps them be more productive at their job and create a better product as well. All right, well, Nax, thank you so much for joining me today on Product Driven, brought to you by Full Scale. Thank you, Nax. My pleasure, and let's continue to cultivate a product focused mindset in our development process.